Well, Larry Anglisano reporting here at uh, Sun and Fun 2025 in Lakeland, Florida. I'm with Doug King at Epic Aircraft, where the uh, big news from Epic is the uh, next generation of the 1000 series turboprop. It's the uh, 1000AX. And, uh, you know, at first blush, you look at this airplane and people might say, well, it's got Garmin Auto Land and Auto Throttle like some of the others, but mm -mm, there's a lot more packed into this airplane. Uh, than electronics, although electronics are a big part of it. Doug King's going to give us a walk around and uh, tell us what this airplane's all about, right? Sure, thanks, Larry. Um, you know, that we chose AX because it's automated everything. That was our, our mission here. We did want to add a lot of electronics to it. So we've done that and, uh, um, and some nice new features that have given us a little more useful load, about 50 pounds more when it's fully loaded. So uh, Let's take a look. All right. Fantastic. You know, uh, one, one thing up on top, we've just come out with the Starlink uh, mini enclosure. So up on top of the unit, we've got uh, the, the first implementation, I believe, on an airplane of an external mount for a Starlink mini. And uh, to have high-speed internet all the time, and that coincides with Starlink's new lower pricing for aircraft. It's, it's now 1,150 pounds of payload after full fuel. So really still the leader and even by more. And that's fully loaded like this one with the new, uh, our laminar flow uh, Garmin 8000 pod. So we have a, a weather radar. Um, yeah, you know, that's one thing that's interesting. Uh, the radar pod, uh, we'll get a, some B-roll of that to show you what it looks like, but uh, it's off on the right wing, and it doesn't really look like a typical radar pod. It's pretty aerodynamic from the looks of it, right? Yeah, so we we optimized it for cruise speed, and it, it really made a difference. It's uh, laminar flow, and our test pilots and flight test engineers say it impacts the cruise speed by less than half a knot, so it's a, it's it's no effect on on cruise speed and uh, no effect on stall. It's it just disappears. And uh, something else you've done to reduce weight uh, is battery tech, right? The the old airplane had standard batteries, like Yeah, lead acid. Lead acid. We acid. went from lead acid to lithium ion, and that took a bunch of weight off of the airplane. Um, we've gone to the new cool view windows. Uh, by Lee Aerospace. Those have a layer of gold in, the, in them to uh, cut out the heat, but they're also uh, lighter weight than our old electrochromatic windows. So again, we, you know, performance is our brand and we really aim to keep striving to improve that performance for our customers. Now, if we compare this airplane to the previous uh, 1000 GX, uh, speeds and pretty much everything is the same. It's the same power plant, PT6A, what variety is it? It's a 67 Alpha. Okay. So you get a full 1200 horsepower on takeoff and you can hold that for five minutes and then it's a uh, 1000 horsepower continuous and that's the same as it was before. How is it such an efficient airplane? Well, you know, it's the all carbon fiber composite. It's smooth and, and very aerodynamic. You know, we have a bigger cabin than our competitors, but we burn less fuel to go faster than them. And so it really is a performance machine. I think we're the only airplane that you can buy right now that does over 300 knots on less than 50 gallons an hour of jet fuel. So that's a, that's a real game-changing level of efficiency. And we have the biggest cabin of all the six-place turbines. And of course, a big part of the uh, new uh, AX Series 1000 is the Garmin cockpit uh, with with uh, uh, Garmin's emergency auto land and auto throttle. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go. Let's go look. Yeah. So the the panel looks largely similar to the to the GX, but but you have the uh, auto throttle disconnect here, right on the throttle, and then the mode controller for the autopilot is different for the. Um, FMS or manual mode and uh, and the speed selection uh, so a, a little bit of a change we simplified some of the, the parts that we use are, are a little less in, um, 
got rid of some of the buttons just to make it easier to use so that the barrel knob it does the sink um, we didn't have that before because we had a different knob set up um, but really kind of one of the coolest new features is this electronic brake hold so when I press that it actually actuates a, a brake on the uh, uh, and and holds the brake so I don't have to hold them when I'm uh, doing a run up or you know checking my uh, prop over speed governor so Doug you and I talked a little bit of off camera about uh, folks transitioning to this airplane and you seem to think that a big part of the market are owners coming up from single engine piston airplanes maybe Cirrus models uh, with a similar cockpit how does this airplane make for an easy transition you think so we designed the flows of this cockpit to be very easy so one of the things there's no overhead switches so that's just lights so there's there's nothing to operate other than what's right in front of you your startup procedure is simply left to right you just turn them on one at a time and hit the start button it's really that simple um the you know your your primary switches you you do your pre-start row you start your engine and then you turn on your pre-taxi row turn on lights and and that's it one of the other things we did is this this was on the GX as well but hold that takeoff go around button down and look up above your primary flight display and you can see what's ready and not ready for takeoff so it, it actually gives you the status, like the flaps aren't set, the rudder trim, the door's not closed, the pressurization's not on. So all of that, it's, it's really designed to help somebody out that's uh, stepping up from a, uh, maybe a simpler platform. And we've made this really easy to fly. Garmin Autopilot embedded GFC 700. Now we've got uh, automatic yaw damper engage. Correct. So as you as you get up through a couple hundred feet, yaw damper turns on. As you come down through a couple hundred feet, yaw damper turns off. So really, it makes it easier. It automatically trims the rudder. You know, uh, it, it when you hold this down, it makes sure that your rudder trim is set for takeoff. It's not right now. Uh, so really helping them through the process of, of operating this turbine airplane. We, we added the, the 3D, you can see the yeah. taxi, the, the safe taxi, the, the System 7 feature, and then we've got the uh, GDL60 with the automatic database updates, the concierge, um, that's a big, just a hassle factor. What's the biggest challenge from somebody transitioning to a to a 1000? Is it operating the avionics? Is it staying it's, ahead of the really, airplane? Or is it a little bit of everything? I think it's really um, having your head in the IFR system. You know, operating the IFR system, that that's really, because you're gonna operate this airplane IFR. You know, you're gonna be above 18,000 feet in, you know, five minutes. So you're gonna get up there quickly and you're going through sectors quickly so you're changing radios quickly it's uh it's important that you you're on your game with your ifr but the airplane is simple to operate so it doesn't overload you it's you know you just have to be brushed up on your ifr skills and uh the ax is pretty much ready to go so i've certified and uh, ready for delivery soon or so it it will be certified soon so we'll, we've got uh, uh we'll start deliveries of the ax in the summer great well, where can folks find out more about the uh, Epic uh, website with all information, I said? Yep, epicaircraft.com. Okay. And you've been watching coverage here from Sun and Fun 2025. I'm with uh, Doug King at Epic Aircraft. Thanks a lot for watching.